In the northern parts of Greenland's permafrost, scientists have recovered what is possibly the world's oldest DNA ever discovered, dating back to two to three million years ago. Through studying this DNA and sequencing it, they have reconstructed the oldest understood ecosystem too and it is surprisingly lush for Greenland. It consists of boreal forests with poplar trees and birch trees and giant animals like mastodons and reindeer. It even consists of smaller animals like rodents and geese and ants as well as marine species like corals and horseshoe crabs. There are a total of 135 species that have been identified dating to 2 to 3 million years ago in Greenland. All of these together describe a flourishing and unique ecosystem that has no modern comparison today. This was an abundant green forest that existed in the northern parts of Greenland, had warm coastal waters and all of this was alive when the global temperatures were about 10 to nearly 20 degrees Celsius warmer than today. Today, this part of the Arctic is a frozen desert. But what is most incredible about this whole exercise is how the DNA was extracted. This ancient DNA is environmental DNA, not really from fossils. This ancient genetic material belonging to 135 species that existed over 2 million years ago was found inside of pieces of clay. The team discovered DNA of plants, land animals, marine life and pollen. The DNA is considerably older than any DNA ever sequenced before. It is in fact twice as old as the previous record holder for the oldest DNA, that of an ancient mammoth in Siberia. That was also recovered from the Siberian permafrost, ice just preserves DNA really well. In Greenland, back then, 2-3 to three million years ago, Temperatures were quite warm, much warmer than today, about 11 to 19 degrees Celsius warmer, but we hardly ever recover any fossils from this part of the world. The lack of fossils does complicate our understanding of the flora and fauna that existed here. So this DNA showed the authors an unexpected and surprising picture of the past, that of an open boreal forest. It had mixed vegetation of poplar trees, birch and tuja trees, arctic and boreal shrubs and herbs, and animals like mastodons, reindeer, hare, rodents, geese, ants, and fleas. In the water, there were marine animals like the Atlantic horseshoe crab, some species of algae, as well as corals, which indicated that the surface water was actually much warmer than today. The DNA was retrieved from sediments which were collected at five different sites in an area known as the Cap Copenhagen Formation. The region is now considered a polar arctic desert and is located about a thousand kilometers from the North Pole. Scientists have been fascinated with this place. In general, Greenland is incredible for studying ancient life and ancient rocks. At one point, the world's oldest rocks came from here at the Isua Formation. Today, researchers here are digging to see layers of past life. For over 20 years, researchers and especially the group that was involved in this finding have been trying to extract environmental DNA from here. One of the leads of the project was a pioneer in extracting ancient DNA and over the years has greatly improved the technique. Here's how he described it when he first conceived of the idea two decades ago. Looking at the window and I saw leaves falling down from the trees and a dog taking a crap on the street. The question is what happens to the DNA? And I said, well, maybe it's surviving in the sediments. And he laughed at me and said, I've never heard anything as stupid in my life. Paleontology is quite different from studying environmental DNA. When we have a skeleton or a bone, we can learn things like how the animal walked, how its body was shaped, how large it was, whether it sustained any injuries and thus its lifestyle, and more such crucial bits of information. But when analyzing DNA, this level of physical detail is not available. Thus, understanding an entire ecosystem from just environmental DNA does present a lot of challenges and requires a tremendous amount of time and patience. When it comes to ancient DNA, 
parts of dateable DNA is retrievable. Willisleff first discovered DNA of plants dating to 400,000 years ago in 2003. This was a landmark discovery and many scientists genuinely believed that we really could not retrieve any DNA older than this. But it has since happened as well. Now Willisleff and his geologist colleague Kurt Kier went to the Cap Copenhagen Formation in Greenland and dug up samples of the permafrost and took it to their labs in Denmark. Here they started to work on these samples and they discovered that these bits of permafrost were actually filled with environmental DNA. The ice that has persisted for thousands if not millions of years has preserved this DNA really well. It was in 2017 that they first discovered these bits of environmental DNA in their samples. These DNA also had fragments with very distinct time damage in them. Greenland, even then 2 million years ago, was in fact an island. And so it is really surprising that giant animals like mastodons and reindeer existed here. But the experts involved in the study think that these animals like mastodons could have just swum from Canada or could have walked over on the sea ice to enter Greenland. These giant animals would have been environmental engineers just like elephants are today and they would have changed the landscape as they moved. A lot of animals were discovered through mitochondrial DNA, which is DNA that gets passed down from the mother's side. All in all, from these five sites, a total of 41 samples were extracted. They resulted in 135 different species, of which 102 were plants. Of these plants, 24 were brand new species that had never been seen in the fossil record before. The researchers had to meticulously date the samples, the rock they were wedged in, upgrade the existing machines that they had to properly sequence these DNA samples, prevent contamination from other environmental DNA in their labs, and take many more meticulous detailed steps until finally the results started to reveal themselves. And these results are extremely astonishing. It allows us to peek at an ecosystem that existed before humans even evolved to be what they are. Many independent experts think that this is a major breakthrough. The experts who were involved in the study are also really happy with the results of their technique and they say that this is just the beginning of reconstructing ancient ecosystems from ancient environmental DNA. When scientists retrieved this material from clay, they did not recover all of it. They were not able to. A fair amount was lost in the process, but the team is hopeful that in the future we will improve the methods with which we recover DNA and extract it and thus could probably go back to recovering DNA from even older things that existed on the planet. Who knows, as our technology improves, one day our textbooks will talk about the very first forms of life to have definitively existed on our planet.